as we were working on our AI, which we decided would be Q-learning, we encountered several issues. While the zombies moved correctly, we noticed that humans tended to continually vaccinate themselves rather than kill or cure zombies. Another issue was that the initial positions of the zombies and government officials differed, which made the implementation of the reinforcement learning algorithm much harder. So we decided to use a new algorithm. It's called the Monte Carlo Research. This algorithm bases the reward and the decisions off of the end goal of the game, whether or not the AI wins. Because it's looking at the end goal, it tended to make more decisions, such as moving around, killing, and vaccinating. Now that we had Monte Carlo tree search working, which was something we could fall back on, I decided to turn my attention back to Q learning, try and figure out where we went wrong and why it wasn't working originally. I found some bugs, and after fixing them, we had a working Q learning algorithm, but now we had a new problem. Do we go with Monte Carlo tree search or Q learning? So in the end, we decided to use both Q learning and Monte Carlo tree search as two different AI algorithms that we could compare and get even more data to, to see whether or not the AIs by different algorithms would make different strategies in playing the game. The UI didn't go all that smoothly either. This is my first time ever working a Pi game and I struggled to animate all the sprites. I went on Stack Overflow and everything to figure it all out. And in the end, I still couldn't figure it out until I broke it all down to the simple basics and managed to make a working, uh, a working function. 